attention, Tennessee. You need to figure out that lock sequence. Keep an eye on to break out the old crack shot here. Well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. You may have gotten the case, Kurt, but it doesn't the greatest shot ever! Can you hear me, Jonathan? You... Alright! I guess break time nice is... Nice shooting! Now, let's find Sly! Ah, alone at last. How cozy. You want cozy? I'm going to throw you and all your friends into the same prison cell. Ah, but no. It is the two of you of whom I am thinking. To be together. Forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly? Super, you filthy vermin! Woo wait! Cut that closer than a ten dollar shave! Reckon my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! Carmelita and get off this thing. We all need to leave right now. That maniac just tore a hole in time space. I need to finish this fight here and now for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second. Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go. Sly, I... I know, me too. Come, Cooper. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? Ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. After I cut the rest of you to pieces. You can't win, Cooper. Deep 
down, you know I'm so dark. Wait, did you say posterior? Why don't you just give me? And that'll make it painless for you. Why don't you come over here and take it? There is something wrong with this stupid sword! Sly, do you read me? Get out of there, Sly! Where is that little weasel? I know it's difficult to bear, but try to keep up! This thing is coming apart at the seams. Don't fall, then I won't get the chance to kill you myself. <laughs> so, before we finish this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. You blasted imbecile! And run you kill! Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. <laughs> The very sight of you fills me with rage! I thought we were gonna be pals. I tire of this show. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. This is not right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Thievius Raccoons were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. 
He's on the professional wrestling circuit now. And he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Ryuichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as egg thief extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galeth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. <laughs> Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After 
After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globetrotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. The Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection, and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. <laughs> 